We are learning disturbing new details about the shooting death of a four-year-old in a car parked outside of Manitou Springs marijuana dispensary this week. Court documents show his parents had a history of letting him play with a gun before he accidentally shot himself on Tuesday. KRDO News Channel 13's Sydney Stell joins us live where it happened with the latest. Sydney. We knew the four year old's death in that parking lot was preventable, but today we learned his parents had several warning signs that something like this could happen before it actually did on Tuesday. New court documents reveal that the four year old boy who died Tuesday of a self inflicted gunshot wound had played with guns before. His parents, Carlos and Ashlyn Perez, both in their mid 20s, told police that their son was interested in guns and they caught him playing with his father's unloaded gun at least two times before Tuesday's shooting. On Monday, the day before his son died, Carlos let his little boy hold his unloaded gun for a few minutes because he was so interested in it. He then took it back and told his son not to play with it. The very next day, Carlos drove his wife and two young sons to Maggie's farm in Manitou. The former Marine told police he loaded his gun with ammunition, set it in an open cubby in the front seat, and then got out to buy marijuana. Ashlyn told police that her four-year-old had a habit of unbuckling his booster seat. He did that Tuesday after his dad left the car. Ashlyn told him to rebuckle, but he climbed into the driver's seat instead in full access of that loaded gun. She said she then turned to look out the window at the gas station next door when she heard a loud boom. She looked over at her son and said his eyes were pointing in different directions. It wasn't until she looked in his mouth that she saw the gunshot wound. Her three-year-old son watched it all happen from the back seat. Court documents say she started screaming and was too distraught to call for help. People who heard her screams called 911 for her. First responders tried to save her son, but the four-year-old was later pronounced dead at a local hospital. Both Carlos and Ashlyn Perez are now facing felony child abuse charges that could put them behind bars for decades, all because police believe they could have seen this coming. They knew the loaded gun was accessible from the front seat. They knew their son had a habit of unbuckling his booster seat, and they knew he was likely to pick up a gun if he was near one. Both Carlos and Ashlyn Perez posted bail on Wednesday. They were in court today for a procedural hearing. We expect to see them back in court next week. Live here in Manitou, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.